Welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Anjali and in today's video we are going to see in the capital module of EBBCS application that how the cash flow is impacted when we use different cases of funding and cash flow incidents. So this is my excel sheet in which I have all the details relating to the asset on which we are going to test the different cases of cash flow incidents and funding incidents. So I've taken two cases here for asset class for fixture and furniture and for the asset class office equipment. So we are going to test the two cases of cash flow incidents and funding incidents over here. So in details, we have asset cost as 10,000, salvage value as 200, and the useful life of the asset is five years for both the asset class. And as we all know, the depreciation formula of straight line method, which is the asset cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life of the asset, which comes to 1960. And the asset value at the end will be 8040, that is after deduction of depreciation. So let's do the first case, which is fixture and furniture. In this, I have already added an asset and converted it into the existing one. So in this case, for the asset class fixture and furniture, the funding is 30%, which is 30% of 10,000, which comes to 3,000. And I have set the cash flow incidence as staggered and funding st uh, incidence also as staggered for eight months for both the cases. All right, so let's see this in our application. Let's go to capital module, existing assets and we'll check the assumptions. In assumptions column, in assumptions tab, we have fixture and furniture in which I have set the cash flow incidents here as staggered. We have various options for this, like before two months, before one month, same month, next month, and so on. So we can choose as per our requirement. So I have set it as staggered, staggered for eight months. My funding is 30% and funding incidents also, I have kept it as staggered and staggered for the period of eight months. All right, so let's go and check this. We need to select the correct project first. All right, so as we can see here, the asset is added over here in the existing assets and all the figures are being shown here. Okay, now let's go to analysis tab and see the impact on cash flow. Click on owned asset, new owned asset total of new assets. Okay, so this is the asset which I added. In this, we have total outflow is 10,000 and the funding is 3,000. So as per our case number one, we should see the cash flow incidents and funding incidents staggered for the period of eight months from the, from the month of January to August. So it should come to 1250, which is 10,000 divided by 8, the total cash flow incidence and the funding incidence, which is 3,000, it should come to 375. So let's validate our figures from the application. So as we can see here, the total cash outflow, which is 1250, this gets validated, all right, which is 10,000 divided by 8. And the cash inflow, which is from funding, it comes to 375. This is also the same as per our calculation. So case number one is clear. Now let's move towards case number two. So in this case, I have kept all the information same like the asset cost, salvage value and useful life. And also the, so the value of depreciation is automatically the same. So case number two, in this, I have taken the cash flow incidence as after two months. That means the cash flow incidents will happen in the month of March after two months, like after January and after February. So the third month is March. 
so the cash flow incidents will happen in the month of march and for the funding incidents i have kept it as a staggered for the five months so let's go and check in our application let's go to existing assets and choose the correct asset class go to assumptions tab and check for the assumptions of funding so here as we can see for office equipment cash flow incidence is after 2 months and funding is 30% funding incidence i have kept it as staggered and staggered for the period of 5 months all right so go to manage assets tab click on the correct project so as we can see here our asset is here the asset amount is same because we have kept the figures same for both the cases go to analysis tab and see the impact on cash flow so this is my cash flow impact in which this owned asset new owned asset we have just hold on for a second first expand this so this is my asset fixture which i added so as we can see we set it as we can see here the amount for uh, the case number 2 for cash flow incidents will happen in the month of march the full amount of 10000 we can see in the month of march and for fixture we can see the amount of 600 for the period of 5 months let's expand quarter number 2 all right so we can see the figures here for january it is 600 february march april and may so the funding incidents is staggered for the period of 5 months and the cash outflow which is 10000 it is not staggered it is the one time outflow so it is in the month of march all right so this is how we can use various types of cash flow incidents and funding incidents for different for different scenario requirements so that's all for today thank you and have a great day